Hi guys, welcome to Simple Homebrew. I'm Pierre, and I have a system for you. It's an iGulu all-in automated beer brewing system. <laughs> I'm wrapped. Uh, these guys sent it to me for free. Let me keep it, and I get to show you what it's all about. If you guys want to know more, I'm going to unbox it today just to show you what the system looks like and talk a bit more about it. Here it is. I'll just uh, cut the tape. I haven't been in here yet, so I don't know what's going on. It came all the way from America. Um, took a good two weeks to actually get here. Uh, well, probably a bit less. So it's not too bad. I bought stuff locally that's taken longer to get in. Um, so they've basically been kind enough to send me this. Now, this system is a white, look at that, brew different yourself. Um, oh guys, you know, the experience is for you. So here, I'll turn that around so you guys can see it properly. So it comes with everything. Look, you come from America. America's voltage is 110 or 120. Um, ours is 240. So I'm hoping that they've sent me an Australian version or I can switch it over or, you know, we'll just work it out as we take it out. So firstly, I'm going to rip it out of its, out of its main box. Or maybe I'll just... Nah, what I'll do is I'm going to take it out. You can see it's here. Okay, that's upside down at the moment. I have nothing left in the big box. So we'll turn it back over to its rightful side. Oh. It is uh, like a fridge, guys. It's actually a proper, it's got a proper pump in it and everything else. So here we go. This is our system. Instruction manual straight up, steps guide as dispensing coupler. So we can actually put, what I can see here is actual cans in it and cool it down. Look at that. That's, that's going to be a thing for the future. Got an instruction manual with a barcode here for warranty and registration. Kindly navigate the iGulu page for register it. I'll take all the bits out of the classic here. So this looks like it could be the power supply, maybe. I'll open her up. Yeah, that's what it is. I just want to check this. Like I said, is it 240 volts? It's 100 to 240 volts. So there you go. So it does all. There you go. As you can see... The plug adapter is American plug adapter, so I'm going to have to make this work with the Australian adapter. Um, what else we got? We've got a handle for the unit. I'll pop that up over here. You guys, I'm throwing it up here. Uh, you guys won't see what I'm doing there at the moment until I get it all out. That looks like one of the probes or one of the... <laughs> anyway, we'll find out, shall we? A little base plate to sit on. It's like, it feels like a silicon base. What's this? This is an iGulu. Be different. Bruce, brew yourself, be different. So that's iGulu. It's like a kit that they've got there. It's just a little card, I think. A little business card kind of thing. All right, let's open and take this out. And here's the unit. Okay, so they, they did say that they're going to send me three. Yeah, they are. Three kits. To actually make beer with. So we've got Amber Lager, the ingredients kit. Uh, we've got Bavarian Wheat, the ingredient kit. So there's three. Yes, there's another one down here, and that is a Pale Ale, the ingredient kit. So we're going to brew one of these today, as long as I get this thing set up properly. I might just take it straight out like this. Oh. Pop it up on our bench. Just make sure we haven't left anything behind. It's all good. All right, I'll move this box aside. And they're all little ends fall in anyway. 
So I've changed the camera angles at the moment so you guys can see exactly what's going on. I'll just pop it up on this bench anyway. This is probably going to be the bench it's going to be work used on. Get that plastic out of the way. So in the back of this unit, there's a, what I can see, it looks like a CO2 canister. Uh, can you see that one there? And it's got a little, this is what I haven't seen before. Ah, it's a little regulator. Okay, so the power went out. Uh, since the power went out, I went for a drive down to my local spotlight. I actually went to my hardware store to find a soda stream canister, one of these. Uh, iGulu don't supply this, we have to get it ourselves. I didn't have one, I never have had a use for it, but I did need that for another project I'm doing at the moment, which will come up in the next few videos in the future. I ended up getting it from my local Spotlight, which is a like a, a linen shop, uh, and it was only 20 bucks, so not bad. So as it stands, you didn't see me unbox this because the power went out. We have our fermentation chamber, the clamp, the clamps on the lid. The lid is actually supplied with the rubber seal. This, you have to put your seal on yourself. And we put that right now. I'm going to just put it into the fermentation chamber like this. Grab the clamp, you firmly push that down. I just want to test everything, make sure everything works. With this clamp, you know, it, there's like a handle on the clamp here. Basically, you close it onto itself and then hook it on to hold it. It doesn't clamp on tight, it just clamps on to stop the lid popping off under pressure. So all we do, is throw the clamp on like so, lock it on, and that's our system. This rotates around. It really doesn't matter where that sits, as long as you get this part lined up properly in the unit itself. This will sit inside the unit like this. This is the CO2 connection. If you want CO2 later, you just throw that on the end here. You do have a pipe, that one here. This little fella is your serving pipe. And in order to be able to serve through this port, you have your pinch button, which will clamp it off like that and will stop the fluid coming out. And you'd want to sort of pinch it so that it sits behind the chamber where the pipe goes through. And in order to put the pipe through, you need to slide that in. I'll show you that anyway in newer videos coming up basically push it in until it stops push that into there lock it in place and then all you do now is pop your little cap on which is magnetic to tidy it all up I'm going to plug this in to the back wherever the power plug is okay for what we need for this is just behind here that's our power supply and the switch to turn it on and off uh, this little fella here will plug into this socket. There's no switches that I can tell. So because this plug is American, um, it's straight. They have straight pins. On Australian plugs, they're not. They're oval shaped or curved. And I'm going to have to pretty much bend them to suit what I'm doing. They're exactly the same space between them. All I have to do is just tweak them a little bit with the pliers. Uh, it's not completely kosher or what you need to do. But it works a treat. Okay, so I've done it. It is tilted to where we need to be. That should plug into my Australian plug and hopefully it does nothing blows up. On the back of this, it actually says, if you can see that, it says here, model H blah, 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 blah. Input 100 volts to 240 volts, which our system is at 50 Hertz. Uh, it puts out 12 volts and five amps according to this it's going to work out well okay are you ready blue lights <gasps> hello look at that i gulu that's awesome it works a treat so i can this is a touch screen and i'll be able to do whatever i want through this touch screen. i'll do some instruction i'll look at how it all works i've been reading about these guys and and all of what they have created here this is a all-in brewing system that is going to revolutionize brewing. With AI, the way it is now, how good it is, and with the computing abilities of our computers nowadays, we can make something like this and have it ferment all the way through to the serving stage all in one unit. That is just immense. And what I've seen so far is it's one of the better units or is the best unit in the brewing market. 
So guys, if you really like this system and you like the idea of it, I'm going to do four more videos on it, uh, basically how to assemble it, clean it, and do everything else, and brew the three brews that they supplied in the kit. I also would like to express that I have an affiliate link with these guys. They have supported Super Home Brew. There is a coupon code that you can use to get some percentage off. I think it's about $100 off the unit if you buy from that link or through that link. And uh, you'll benefit Simple Home Brew by doing so. Guys, have a great one. Thank you very much, and we'll see you in the next brew. Cheers. Cheers.